TS-166 Wong Zai B2 Steve Great Night Rod Zai The blade is almost as big as uh, <coughs> as the one on the <coughs> uh, TS-89 even though in descriptions it says 92 millimeters as opposed to 96 on uh, TS-81 and 99 overall it's smaller the handle is great uh, it's weight related to the maximum I mean, on both scales, um, as you can see here, the show side scale, but also on the lock bar itself, there is one out here and another one pretty big one in the back and then here above so it's very light great action uh, Deaton catches it a little bit late but no problems I'm doing it with my left hand since my right is not to nerve damage something so I can barely can barely hold the camera love this blade fully flag round set and finish drop point blade uh, nicely rounded fit and finish just beautiful so metallic finish on the titanium can't find good light here but uh, yeah this cut out here I guess you can uh, flick it the lockup is oh, about 30 percent ultra stop and uh, I'm still in search all that stuff just beautiful very thin behind the edge so it becomes very sharp out of the box probably the best long design D2 and uh, this style uh, very effective <coughs> efficient uh, for slicing piercing uh, absolutely no lock rock or or blade play the pocket clip I mean the design just flows so you can sort of fidget with this because it doesn't poke or hurt anyway even doing it with my left it's just centered as all two so nice caged ceramic ball bearings single row ball bearing system and uh, yeah 166 <clears throat> the 165 is also great it's a bit bigger than this one 94 millimeters i believe so two millimeters bigger but you can't really uh, it's got some kind of it's not really a finger choil but it is kind of you can 
can use it very nicely. Jimping here is, nah, it's not, not really that it helps a little, I guess, but, but yeah, I mean, my hands, average, medium, large, and you can get a good grip. TS81 My Wang, Wang Dajin is is pushing the, and uh, I don't know if you've seen the new TS62 I think uh, or T69 in night morning design similar but even more slim and bit, bit smaller <coughs> weighs under 100 grams uh, can't can't say in, uh, in but yeah I mean very nicely rounded and sculpted I and mean, the machining and overall uh, design is just also beautiful. Uh, the pocket clip does not rest on the lock bar. And I mean, I'm using my left hand so the thumb kind of counts. Uh, but still, no problem. Can't fail almost. nerve damage so I have very very limited uh, movements and function of the hand but if I can get it if I can get my finger up on the flipper yeah screeching sounds, no scissor sort of sound, just, just great. Thumb. to the dark, the dark side. This is a very small knife. This is the Max Touch 2 chip. Uh, I'm not sure. I'm, uh, I'm gonna call it my Max T. A very sort of slim design, but interesting. Uh, unique kind of grind. Minimal billboarding, this one. I love when they do these visible grind lines. This is not an easy grind. I mean, it's not just that the edge is sort of taking a, uh, this sort of angle up but it's also you can see the shade the sort of light maximized edge 
ratio is great. This one is not uh, weight relief from inside, although it is a lefty righty pocket clip. You can put it on the left side, and it's got this nice, very nice, smooth, uh, nicely fitted and sculpted carbon fiber inserts. And I'm gonna change because. Yeah. Right. So the designer, the new designer, it's a D2 steel blade, uh, Max. I don't know if the T or the K or the last K are silent, but it's a uh, Tachuk or Kachu or Kachu, Kachu. I don't know. I apologize to the designer, but Max T. Uh, small sort of pivot screws. Nice pass through here. Uh, interesting design. So, our stunts are for ships, but I don't know. But you know how good I am. This one has a decent ball catching, very kind of late, but still no problems. Good action. Just good lock up, of course, no wiggling of the blade. A small knife, small EDC knife, but very light. And it's got some edge, uh, I'm not sure, but it's like 85 millimeters, maybe 3 inches at least. It's made from, I mean, I, I have the Note 10 Plus lying around for almost two weeks now. I don't have so much data, so that, uh, well, I'm lazy, you know. It's laziness. So I'm doing it on my 8, Note 8. And as you can see, uh, I have a big problem with the yeah. Very interesting design. I haven't seen this kind of grind before. Well, I have, but not, not really in two sun knives. And, and, and it's very, very kind of slim, skinny little boy. This, uh, this knife. Very pretty, see. Very smooth uh, carbon fiber. It's not marble, but they have really sanded it or you know polished it so somehow. Feels nice, and natural. Otherwise, it's kind of a. I don't know. I wouldn't say. Uh, stone washed look, but uh, yeah, kind of raw titanium backspacer. Nice, they have some kind of trim treatment on the titanium on these, uh, not anodized. It has almost that metallic sort of car uh, paint metallic. Uh, look, there's no jimping, but on this, but it's kind of porn, so you don't need any, and it just goes off like that, like my like a gun. Zermansky. I'm not sure, but yeah, they have those.
things. And then uh, let's see if I can find. These two. This is the TS uh, one sixty eight. TS one sixty eight. Uh, it's also a wonderful design by Mr. Wang and Zheng. Uh, bit bigger than, than this 166 165 166 and uh, uh, I can't remember but I mean, as you can see it is it is slightly bigger than this one but uh, Mainly the handle, and if we take the TS uh, 89, it's much heavier than both of these, as, as this is also very nicely weight related with the holes and cutouts um, on both sides. I mean, they have really done. Uh, good job weight relieving these titanium scales it's like maximum weight relieving you have to leave something you know for the integrity of the handle but as you can see even here on the lock bar there is a cutout here in the front and and in the back and this is a 12c27 Sandvik steel so comparing these three Undoubtedly, this one is uh, the largest. I mean, it's there's no no doubt about that. But uh, uh, you can see the handle getting smaller. However, the edge, well, the blade is bigger on this one. But if I turn this one around because of the design, the edge which I kind of cut stuff with usually uh, I use the edge uh, the blade uh, it's good to have a long blade if you're gonna go out and stab elephants you know but otherwise you know it's uh, it's the edge that kind of counts I think I, I'm not sure but I mean I'm not a knife professional but I think it's the uh, edge is kind of important in knives well, you can see here, I need, yeah, yeah, I mean, of course, this is 94, 92, so 2 millimeters, yeah, that's like, a, yeah, nothing. And then we have the little guy, the little sister or little skinny sort of brother. But, uh, yeah, this one is a lot heavier. This one is very light, almost as, well this one's lighter, cause, but this one is uh, also for the size, I mean, and I thought, you know, this would be kind of uncomfortable because of the grooves and all that, but no, it's, uh, it's the fingers just kind of find their way here, and uh, you know, sort of jumping here, but resting it thumb nice wedge up here the waves the machining the pocket clip just amazing
and the action on this one is also incredibly smooth. The lockup is very good, appropriate. It's a bit light. So well, it looks like that, but it's it's not really. I mean, it looks about uh, twenty percent. I would say at least twenty-five. So uh, yeah, symmetry is very very nice. And there's nothing that bothers me. Very very good finish on the blade. I love this grind lines I mean it's satin but it's not like uh, and uh, yeah I got the new the new uh, TS127 it has a bit thicker detent than the than the 12C27 but There are some, uh, there are some different, I mean this one you can't fail, I mean it just brings up, uh, you can see here, and the blade stock, if I'm not fooling myself, but I'm not, I don't think I am, because you can clearly see the blade stock, where it's sort of not, Bell or, or swatched uh, in the butt there, and it's actually thicker on the S9TV than uh, on this. The lockup is a bit lighter though, and uh, yeah, very nice finish. Otherwise, the blades look the same pretty much, and everything else too. Except for this, actually looks like it's a little bit. The blade is a little bit longer, or, or the shorter on this one. I don't know. But yeah, maybe some a bit more stone washing here. Probably on the liners as well. Titanium liners, and I mean, I'll do a better video later. I'm not, uh, you know, I, I'm mumbling and I'm talking like this because I don't want pe people already think I'm crazy. So, my, not that I'm not, I mean, I am crazy, but, but you know, I don't know if you can see it. Uh, or just me, but I think actually I'm pretty sure that the blade stock on this one is somewhat thicker. I haven't really examined the specs, but I'm looking at them where they are. There's no running, rounding off, there's no barrel, swedge, whatever. And, uh, it, it looks, uh, yeah, I mean, it looks like it's, uh, it's a thicker blade. Of course, uh, there are small differences, like on the top here, uh, the 12C27 has a really good jimping however this one has even better it's uh, wider but it's even more effective and uh, I mean the finish on the blade on, the, on all of the 12C27 blades is just wonderful And 
this is also 95, 95 millimeters, which is a three and three quarter inch blade. So, see, this you can fail if you are doing it with your left hand. <laughs> If you're a schmuck like I am, otherwise, yeah, no problem. But yeah, you can fail this one. I just love this design so much that I had to buy the pretty much the first one that came out. And so there with this. Now, man, now they came out with that uh, awesome sort of uh, uh, carbon fiber and, and titanium. Oh man, but it's it's just uh, yeah. And that one is also uh, I think TS one sixty two one sixty nine is I think the new night morning design, which is kind of uh, well, kind of like this, but more. It's got like uh, two pivots and uh, almost uh, the same kind of pivot here so two screws and then it's sort of a spear pointed I'm sure you've seen it they, they started auctioning out a few of them I think uh, one or two have sold at least one I think yeah so there you go I mean about the blade right it's, it's barely noticeable, but yeah, I mean, you can, can well, very nice. I mean, I can already see the iron on the cover, you know, and, and even when you sort of, when it's closed, I mean, this, you know, this, I can't fail, however. I do it almost every day. It just can't fit. Yeah. So, I mean, maybe you can see here. It kind of goes a little bit further than this. See the blade. This one stops kind of. Yeah. Again, this. End of the blade, this goes on for a bit more, so yeah, it's uh, it could be that this one's shorter, or, uh, but I mean, when you're looking like this, looks exactly the same, except here, of course, but uh, where they are, see, here they are not, and you can't. Really, they're not swedged or beveled, and I, mean, I can clearly see that uh, this, the left one, S9TV, has a thicker blade stock. Don't you think? Yeah, just kind of does. So yeah, that was my quiet moment. See, I'm, still, I'm trying to set up uh, some kind of tripod so that my paintings so that I can uh, you know, do, try and do some real reviews instead of these, uh, these uh, I don't even know what to call it. Oh yeah, yeah, I got this one, so, and that's why I really have to, like, I need the, because this one is not going to be easy to open with just one hand. And it's got that two-stage, so, 
Verzonsta hiç Buradan geldi Land 390 Long design Extremely thin behind the edge But then again it's extremely thin Blade stock as well No wiggling And you know the, the inserts here I thought it was like I don't know but it's really an insert Even though you can You cannot feel any uh, it's like it's painted on but no it's screwed <laughs> it's screwed to the titanium the copper and uh, very nice inside and out there's a hair there uh, anyway so I mean it's it's it comes really sharp and I love this uh, blade uh, the blade should be clip point I mean it's a fully flat ground clip point blade extremely thin behind the edge with a very thin uh, blade stock I mean comparing it to uh, to, to this, for example, is not even not even fair to do because uh, yeah, I mean it is a bit of uh, you know uh, it's got this this bevel it stretches I don't know what it is but let's call it is beveling beveled or stretched uh, I mean I, I did this this I know it's a stretch. But, but this when they kind of round off the little bit that uh, I don't know. You, you don't have to sue me uh, this one doesn't really have that so it's kind of more angular well it does yeah but it's more of a swedge so part of grind but um, so yeah I mean he, these two you can compare and still the long design will be, I think, somewhat, yeah, maybe not, but, but about the same size. Yeah, the max touch up. I, I, I apologize, Max. I, I don't know. I haven't been on any social medias for months. And that there, there are a few reasons. Uh, doing some other stuff. I mean, I'm tired of certain things there, and then I don't want to influence other things because uh, people follow each other just to sort of follow, and then they not really followers. You know, if someone is going to watch anything I do, then I want it to be because they find something interesting. You know, interesting, and it doesn't matter if it's. Uh, couple of you know five people or 500 to me it doesn't matter but i want them to do it because they want to do it you know and so i haven't even told my family or my friends uh well except those that i know are interested in such things not many are so Yeah, very beautiful, very beautiful man. Then your home, which uh, I forget to mention, this one doesn't have any, and uh, I don't really care because, uh, you know, <laughs> what am I going to do with the lanyard? I never even. I mean, I probably mentioned this before, but it's kind of illegal uh, to EDC here. I mean, you can't EDC anything here, so in Sweden, uh, even the smallest knife will uh, potentially get you in trouble, you know, if the cops, at the very least, they will confiscate them. And that's if you are in your car and, and you know, but it's a really small knife. If you had any kind of trouble before, I mean, you know, 
man, yeah, you, you can really sort of, you can pay hefty fines all up to sort of prison time if there's a misunderstanding or something, or a fight breaks, so, but whatever, you know, I mean, you, you can, you're in the wrong place, wrong time, stuff like that. So unless it's a really deep pocket carry night or a, you know, clip, I mean, of course, I, I don't break the law, so I, I don't carry them anyway. But yeah, if, if I would carry knives, then it would be with with a you know real uh, concealed type of thing. Otherwise, I don't use clips at all. So yeah, there you go. Uh, if anyone, by the way, would like to see my extensive collection, uh, only uh, I mean, you can see a few lenses here, and there, and a bunch of other knives. Uh, yeah, knives like this, Damascus. Yeah, if someone would like to see. Uh, real uh, so uh, you know collection of Artus and knives or some other knives uh, Spyroco whatever uh, then yeah you just write in the comment section or whatever and I'll do it even if it's just one person that's how how Great guy, yeah. And that's how bored I am. No, that, you know, I don't even know if I'm gonna post this. I, I've made like 200 videos that I haven't posted yet. But then again, you know, I, I, I don't have these knives only for collection. I mean, I have, I do kind of uh, create and then sell businesses. <laughs> that's what I do. I buy off a business, I do stuff with it, and then I sell it off for a profit. So now I'm selling my other one. I've already sold one. So I'm gonna have just my trading, my trading business. And uh, yes, I do deal with knives as well. I need some license, <coughs> licensing first in order to be able to do it internationally, but. But yeah, I sell all kind of stuff, import, and uh, it's the export thing that is kind of, well, you're not really export, but I'm mostly in the retail business now, but uh, yeah, I've got other knives like uh, these, you know, cheap cold steel, well, not all of them are cheap, I mean, I have my, from the army, the uh, Felton even, F1. Uh, yeah, you know, I've got fucking swords, and tigers, and swords, and stuff for killing dragons, two edge, huge sword, machetes, you know. So, yeah. I guess uh, that's it, only 40 minutes, so, you know, probably not even I'm going to watch the whole thing. And uh, if I'm gonna upload it to, to, uh, <coughs> N-Lans, I have a couple of hundred N-Lans, some of them are really interesting. Uh, probably some you, you haven't seen. And uh, you would be surprised. I am. I mean, I am surprised. They, they actually come out with stuff. It's your MOV. But this is a brutal knife, but yeah. Okay, I can see my battery and other stuff on the old phone is dying. And yeah, I mean, not only this, but. 
these packages, all of them are full of mess. I know cardboard. I know that cardboard is enemy number one. I am destroying it here in Sweden. Just so you know, I am doing the. I'm helping you. I don't know in where you find that much cardboard in here. Because when I'm watching the reviews, it's like you know when I go out and you know I really have to cut a lot of cardboard. Where do you find the cardboard? What do you do with it? You know, why do you cut it? Why? Nah, no, just kidding. I don't know why. Uh, but here in Sweden, we don't have much cardboard. It's a. Uh, it's not my artwork. Yeah, a lot of mess. So hopefully soon I will get my. Well, stuff in order so that I can sell internationally. Or if I would send that big knife, you know, send it to Russia, that would be problems because there are strict laws, you know, about blades and stuff. So, so, so sending only something like this could, you know, just cost me a lot of money. Which, uh, you know, I, I, I don't care much for. I mean, these are all handmade. All coming from UK, handmade by Alistair. Some this is, I think, Stan uh, Roddy Stan. Uh, really cool knife, really awesome Damascus knife. All 10.95 and uh, 15 and 20 steel. I forged together, of course, tempered, uh, twisted, tempered, etched, blah blah blah. They do these uh, sheets, every weather, uh, cowhide, everything by hand, so custom, I guess. Yeah. So. Uh, yeah, if you wanna you want me to go through some knives or you know in two parts or three parts the collection, I'll do it because this is just I mean uh, yeah. Alright guys, thank you very much for watching and Katie out.